check it out. Billet silver, metallic. Got the red accents. This is the Rubicon model. Highly awaited, highly wanted gladiator. Um, given the price tag at $58,000, I think most people will wait around for a sport, an overland sport, or an overland and uh, do the upgrades themselves. Let's take a look at this thing. Best in class towing capacity, 76.50 pounds. So they opened up the uh, the grill there, allow for more venting and cooling. It's these hood scoops here, a little more venting as well. It's got the uh, body color three-piece Freedom hardtop. You could take off these pieces and. Uh, from when I had my JKU, uh, it was really easy to do. Um, really gives you that open air feel and you don't have to go through the whole two person deal of taking off the top. I did not know on the hard top it had a little baby window there. So I wonder if that's uh, probably a manual window. Gotta make sure to lock that. A lot of people try to get into your stuff that way but uh, only only really small people need to apply for that thievery hey thieves got these uh tie downs you can adjust them all throughout the bed so it's like uh three rails there is a light there in the bed some little hardier tie down hooks Eric Stevens, do you have a call parked on line eight? Eric Stevens, parked on line eight. 15 AC in the bed. I believe this is a auto locking tailgate. Yep. Backup camera. Towing and braking brake lights. Red hooks, it does have a hitch. It's nice hexagonal treads. And it's got some uh, corner protection. Box, up, box shocks. Trail rated badge. like that fox shock let's check out the coil and then the electronic disconnect for the sway bar is underneath there doesn't quite look complete without a winch gotta go worn gotta go braided steel cable um, or actually the uh, Sorry, not braided steel. The like Dyneema or the synthetic material. Those look way better, save a lot of weight. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, getting shards of wire in your finger when you're spooling out. I wanna see this thing with half doors too. Really wanna see it with half doors, how it looks with the top off, half doors. Uh, I think it'll look really sharp. Check out this uh, rail here. That is steel. A little rocker protection. Kind of just peeking inside since I don't have the keys. Maybe they have one in the showroom I can check out. I don't feel like bothering anyone right now. Some cargo nets on the doors, as usual. I like how you can kind of close those vents up if you uh, don't want to get a bunch of dust in them there's the fuel filler door i would kind of wish it had the uh the post mounts in all four corners of the bed so you can kind of give it that scrambler look if you wanted to put some kind of rails down there just a little throwback to the scrambler scrambler days of uh, which this thing is very inspired by
see if they got any more colors. You're looking at Falcon, Wild Peaks, MTs. Look at the size here. 285, 70R17. keys right now but check out the play on this handle shakes and rolls should just be a straight out but hopefully that's meant to do that I don't know yeah I guess it's meant to do that feels a little wonky Jeep Gladiator Rubicon 4x4 we're here at uh, Folsom Lake Chrysler and Jeep. As you can see the base price here 43.545 for the Rubicon all said and done 58.595. Let's check out the Folsom Lake markup. 58.595 and then you got the 5 year 75,000 miles 12.95 dealer markup 20k. Guardian GPS 1300 grand total 81,180 what the F holy crap I don't think so so this is equipped with the uh, idle engine stop when you come to a stoplight uh, engines gonna shut off and then it's gonna give it a fraction of a second to start back up upon uh, releasing the brake Gosh, damn, seriously? 81, can't get a good shot of that. Let me try and take a uh, still photo. There's a black one, right. Very shiny. entrance that nice satin dash red stitching the leather seats like very comfortable buckets a little bit of a bolster on the edge Our disconnect four programmable uh, usable extra buttons 12 volt and then you got your media USB is that a micro USB auxiliary headphone jack windows of course temperature controls you got your crashing controls and parking sensors screen off so you close up those vents pretty standard steering wheel pentastar v6 285 horsepower got freedom top latches here front middle side let's check out the back seat let's check out the center console so usb charging there and an outlet for your cord to come out on both sides that's very important hate squashing the cord the deal here coin tray what have you and that is lockable See the key holder. Sounds pretty good. They always talk about that Mercedes G Wagon closing with the door closing, that sound. Um, that has pretty good sound as well on this Jeep. So, check out. 
your seat. Fairly upright. Let's try and, uh, okay. So that's one bench lifted. You got that storage underneath. Passes all the way through so you can store long items. And it does lock as well. However, it is, you know, high density plastic. So if someone really wanted to get in there, they could get in there. No problem. That was a little kind of a chintzy, chintzy snap in, but here's where you store all the hardware for your doors. And the top. Let's put that back. I don't know what that is for. That's weird. It's just a stop for the seat. That's that's what it is. It's just a stop for the seat. Let me see if I can fold that back down. You got your fixed points. If you want to roll car seats like I'd have to. I'd have two car seats and this thing would, they make them kick the seats back so their feet would be hit. My seat. And fold the headrest down here. Fold the seat, grab handle. There's another tether, tether there. Cup holders in the middle, cup holders on the floor. I kind of wish this had another tray. You can throw your cell phone in here. That would be cool. Look at this baby headrest in the middle. Compared to a regular one, it's about half to a third of the size. Hopefully someone doesn't get whiplash. There is that rear slider window you can see there. And see that nice roll cage interesting to see if they have any aftermarket bars that go across the back in the future that would be a nice touch kind of nice to put your arms up uh, behind your head if you're sitting in the back let's go over to the other side pretty heavy duty tonneau material or just a little bit of really snug storage here i don't know what this kind of fake mole system is about but you might be able to Attach some ballpoint pens in there or something. <laughs> All right. Got your jack. Got storage once again. All the way through. Shotgun. Wonder how hard it is to take these seats out. pretty nice back here um, it does sit pretty high so you do, do have kind of a command view of the road if you're sitting in the back it feels like you get an extra inch or two on the uh, driver and passenger so you can see what's going on um, I had a uh, 2012 JK four-door JKU so familiar with this and it does feel a lot more comfortable uh, it does feel slightly more reclined just uh, just a smidge of hair um, no other option to recline anymore uh, it'd be nice if this bench slid forward a little bit that way you could get a, an extra degree or two of recline but uh, I won't be sitting in the back if I got this vehicle anyway so customary grab handle for the front passenger Pretty nice. Got your uh, AC vents, windows, and sound system should be pretty good. Got a couple right behind the head, a couple on the dash there. Yeah. Airbag assist, SOS system. All right, let's check out this glove. Super deep. Once again, the door. That's better. Uh, 
before with the windows on my JKU, they didn't have a window switch. It was all in the center. So you get used to reaching for something here and um, the Jeep would remind you that they're only in the middle. Uh, actually, it's my Mini Cooper. They do the same thing. So you got two high, four high, neutral, four low. You got this stout shifter with a button there. Feels like you're gonna launch a missile. That's kind of cool. And uh, you got the Gladiator right on top there. So park, rear, neutral, drive. And then looks like you got maybe a kind of a sport shift option. Maybe nice to downshift. So you got your cup holders down here. Little buttons here to kind of keep your drink secure. Unfortunately, it looks pretty snug. You'd be hard pressed to get something uh, a little bit larger, you know. Here in the U.S., we drink large, big gulp drinks, so kind of disappointed that there's not an additional cup holder in here. Um, you know, it's nice to have something for you and a passenger and maybe like a spare water bottle. So maybe here would be a nice place to store like just a little water bottle, at least on the passenger or a couple for the, uh, you know, it is spacious in here. Um, got your volume controls, power on and off. I like that they have this. You can really crank up the air if you want to without, you know, pressing the little, the different levers. Um, that's pretty neat. So let's look back. Let's go ahead and open that window back there. I gotta open that window. Let's listen to the sound of these doors again. That sounds freaking good. So, pinch together and slide open for some air. Remember, I went camping with a bud back in the day, high school days, and this was winter camping. He had his Rottweiler in the back, and he had one of these, and. With this window, his Rottweiler climbed halfway through. It was so cold just to get a little bit warm. I felt so bad for that dog, but it wasn't a space cab or extended cab. So it was just a two passenger with basically this much room. No room for a Rottweiler. 190 90 pound, 100 pound Rottweiler. All right, there is my look. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look around. Freaking dope. Sticker, Jeep Gladiator Rubicon 4x4 base 43, 545. Got all this good stuff in here. Bucket seats, leather, trailer tow package, cold weather group. I like that uh, remote start. LEDs, 8.4 inch audio. Safety group, so you got parking sensors, blind spot, cross path detection, AUG switch, 300 bucks, cargo management group, trail rail system, let's tie downs, tawny cover, 500 bucks. Wow, look at this. Transmission, 2,000 bucks. Remote proximity, keyless entry, 500. Freedom top, 1195. Body color fender flares, 495. Destination, 1500. Grand total, 57,930. Miles per gallon, 17 city, 22 highway, 19 overall. Seven nine thirty twelve ninety five for the optional extended uh, care plan five thousand dollar markup from the dealer Guardian GPS total sixty five five one five for this plan. Whew. Ouch. We 
will you guys get one? Holy crap. I don't think so.